How much do construction superintendents make? Do you want to know how much money you can make as a super? Does all that money entice you? Do you want to know how you can get more of it? Well, if you do, stay with us in this video. So let me start off by telling you a story. So there was a high school kid, well, just, no, just barely getting out of high school that called me and was like, hey, Jason, I want to get into construction. I want to eventually be a project manager. Do you have any openings for me? And I said to him, you, hey, that's, this is super great. Like, I just love this. You're going to love this opportunity. I made it through. I make a ton of money. You can do this same thing too. Um, here's an option. You can come to work for the organization that I work for, start out as a laborer or a carpenter apprentice and help out. That's probably going to happen once we see how hard you work. It could be weeks, it could be a couple months, whatever. Then you can start helping out the field engineers, be a field engineer for a while, then you're in, now you start learning project management. Literally, the response I got was, you know, Jason, I've uh, volunteered and done some college level classes. I've done some work at like men's warehouse and I really think that kind of work is beneath me and so I don't want to do it. I want to go straight in to an opportunity or just go straight into college and make the big bucks. And I was like, okay, fair point. That's totally fine. It's totally fine. I love that for you. So what are you thinking? And he was like, well, if I can't get a job directly into construction, I'll go into a university a program and become a, an electrical engineer. And I'm like, okay, great. And he's like, and then I'm making the big bucks. And I'm like, okay. So I was like, you realize that the electrical engineers that I know in the industry make anywhere from 85000 to $125,000 a year, but superintendents can go all the way up base salary to 230. Yeah, I think I know that. I just, I just, I can't start out as a laborer. And I was like blown away. I'm like, wait a minute, what? So you're going to spend, and I'm not dissing college because I love it, but you're going to spend 80 grand, um, thereabouts, right, on average, going to do a four-year degree so that you can come out and make $80,000, $85,000 a year and actually work Saturdays and Sundays when the rest of us aren't? Like, this doesn't make any sense. So this is like the mentality of construction right now. Our parents, my parents, taught all of us, hey, if you're going to be anything in life, you got to go to college, right? Nowadays, we're still doing it to kids. If you're going to be anything in life, you're going to have to go to college. Never mind that only 25% of people that go to school for a degree end up doing that degree as a career and only half of the 25% enjoy it. <laughs> like this doesn't make any sense. So if you want a career in construction, you can go the college route, you can go the trade school route, you can go the route that I proposed to that young individual. Uh, where you work your way through. Either way, the point is, however you start, the pay is considerable. The opportunities are considerable. And there are people, and I'm, I'm sure none of you listening to this YouTube channel are this person, but there are complete idiots that like have no idea what they're doing and have zero skills that have just been around construction that are like charging 130 grand a year to be a superintendent and they don't know anything. Like you, this industry is hurting and begging so much for supers. They will pay for it. They will give you the training for it if you know where to find it and they want you. This is a great opportunity for you. So bottom line, supers make good money. You know what? Uh, let me talk about something actually on the opposite side. I actually don't make good money off of this YouTube channel. This is a free gift to you. So actually, when you like and subscribe, like it's helping us fulfill our purpose because instead of money, we get this relationship. So why not like, subscribe and comment and be a part of the family? All right, back to the topic at hand. Supers make good money. They make a lot. Even a base search on the internet will show that at the entry level to the high end, that it's $37,000 all the way up to about 160. Now, I just want to paint a picture for you. If you go become a field engineer for a couple of years and then you get into the opportunity of being an assistant super and you really nail it and do a good job, then become a project super and then you can become a general superintendent between the 12 and 16 year mark. I right now today know of individuals that base salary are making 210 
to $250,000. Now, once you add stock, once you add benefits, once you add the truck, once you add everything else, like you can be anywhere between two fifty dollars and $360,000 in this position. And I just want to say, in a lot of cases, it's even more than that. Meaning some of the people I know, when you compare their units of stock to how much the payout is, you're talking anywhere from fifty to $250,000 a year just in the stock. So you can make a lot of money, like a lot of money. Like if somebody was like, yeah, I'll make anywhere from between a quarter of a million to a half a million dollars once I've hit year 12 to 16 following Jason's programs, actually knowing what I'm doing and adding a massive amount of value and being able to run mega projects. It's a lot of money. Like just think about what you could do with that money. In two years, you make a million dollars like or in four years, you make a million dollars either way. Like that's a lot. That's a lot. So supers can make quite a bit of money. And as I've said before in other videos, don't make the mistake of being like the cheetah be like the gazelle. The cheetah runs fast, tires out. The gazelle just keeps running at an even pace. Start your career, learn the roles, be a field engineer, be an assistant super, learn scheduling, learn BAM, learn the the details of the last planner system, learn lean, learn project management, learn finances, learn contracting, become that project superintendent, get two really good projects under your belt, become a GS, become a field director, make the money and enjoy building things and building teams. And so to break this down, if you said, hey, there's Jason, I'm in a company where we only have supers one, two, and three, I would say a super Superintendent level one is probably anywhere between 85 and 110. Super two is probably anywhere between 95 and $135,000 a year. Super three is probably anywhere from 115 to $155,000 a year. And this is base salary. Like I said, you can make much, much more. Like I said, I know GSs and field directors that are anywhere from 160 all the way up to $230,000 a year. And then on top of that, you have all the other benefits. So if you came to this video to find out what you can actually make and what you can do in this position and what's in store for you, you've come to the right place. I will also link you in the description below to some other videos about superintendents and how you can accelerate your career if you choose this path. On we go.